Okay, I'm doing this next design in Embird. And first of all, I need to go to Edit Preferences. Ah, I keep changing these. Right. Guidelines. Given to me in a color I can see. Okay. 3D preview, I've already got that. No such thing as a hoop, it's a work area. And I'm going to ask for mine to be 190. In width and um, 150 in height. No, I'll go for a hundred and thirty. That's smaller than my sewing field in my Genome hoop for my nine nine hundred. Um, guidelines, 3D preview, selection, that's okay. Save, I don't auto save and I don't want backup files. Grid, I want two millimeters with a one millimeter subdivision. And I'm gonna tell that, apply. and pull out, and there's my work area. And now I want to bring in an image, import, and I want to go to group work, Embered. And I'm going to do calligraphy one. Open. Do you want to scale the image to fit your current hoop? Yes, please. <laughs> there we go. This is what we're going to be digitizing. You can enlarge it or shrink it as you wish later. And I have a feeling it's altered my grid size. Yeah, it's altered all of this. One, two, wrong way. I'm just right clicking to bring it down through. 2.2, save as default, edit, preferences. grid, two millimeters with subdivision, grid color, I want to change the color, or do I? No, I don't. Cancel that. Additional grid, none. Save as default. Got my small grid back. Edit, Preferences, Guidelines. I want them in a colour I can see. I'll go for blue, seeing as selected as red. Is 
save as default. There we go. So now I've got that all selected. Now I want to go to image. Background filters. Because I like to be able to see my nodes. Well, I don't want to bleed too much colour out because I need to know. Oh, nose is itching again. Apply. Excuse me throwing a Benny, but my nose has been itching for days now. And it won't stop. Okay, so what is this? Well, it's a calligraphic, sorry, calligraphic device. And it's got a start. It goes around, up, around, back, around, comes down here, up to here, around, does a loop, does another loop, another loop, and it ends up down here. And it's done without taking the pen off the paper, and you get the broad strokes from applying pressure to the nib end, and you get the narrow strokes by just releasing the pressure on the nib. And we're going to do this with the outline tool. Now, I would do it from start to finish, but I'm going to do it in sections depending on how long it takes. So I hit my tool. I want sample, single stitch. Or will I go for my sketch? Oh, there's sketch up there. Let's have a look at sketch. Width four millimeters. Sorry, point four millimeters. That's four tenths of a millimeter, which is not really very wide. So, and I have to remember there is no right click in Embird. And we have to shape our nodes once we've made them. So I'm just going to land on that, tell that generate. No, I don't like the hairy look. So I'm going to tell that delete. But I do want to draw a line because I want to save my settings and my graphic. So I'm just going to draw a straightforward line, tell it generate stitches, save as, and pop it in here. Cal 1, save. OK, now that's done. I don't have to worry about losing my design. And I'm going to leave that there for a while. I'm going to pick up the run line tool again. Put my first node. Second, shape this out. So it's nice and smooth. Come up to here, shape this one, come 
over to here shape this one tap on him come as far as here shape him bring it up to here shape him and then put a node beyond that one and I can continue around move this one Right, I've come this far. I'm now going to come back to here. Where am I? No, I'm going to continue. It's not wide enough to do three lines. I just move this end one up a little bit and move him because I want that nice curving line and then I'm going to come around as far as here up up, curve it up, that needs to come up here a bit more, that's it, I've got that one highlighted, I come back, I put him into position, back as far as here curve him and then travel back up the middle one two three keep it going up the middle just beyond the node from the previous line might have to move him in closer now I'm going to tell that generate stitches Okay, this top line isn't very smooth. One to one. That needs to be a bit smoother. I'm going to come back over to normal. Click on that right click edit a bit lumpy there so I need to move that just a touch I've got to get in closer I can't see the whole thing has got to be smooth
that looks better. Or maybe I will try it all in. Sketch, sketch, width, two. And I just need to move that little node up a touch. There we go. Generate stitches. Still a bit lumpy there. Okay. 3D. I've got that heavier weight of stitching now. I still don't like that. Which means I need to go and put another node in. Edit. Insert. Okay. Generate. That's better. It smoothed that out. I was trying to be too selfish with my nodes. I'm going to look at it in one to one. Much smoother. But now this one is too close to the bottom. We want that line to travel up the middle. Edit. That well, looks about equidistant. We'll soon see. Generate. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Go and pick up my tool again. Ah, before I do that, parameters. Hold parameters for new objects. Apply, generate. Thank you. And move on. Use the numeral three key. That is such a handy key. Now, there's no problem with under and over. You just ignore that the stitch is going to run over or under. This isn't a Celtic puzzle. I've got to bring that back. It's not giving me the line I wanted. That's better. Let's move that node. Bring it round a bit. Down to about here. Around to about here. And I'm going to stop there until that generate. Click off. And you can see the shape coming. 
Some of you might want to do this in satin stitch. That's fine. I like it done in the run stitch because it's not so heavy. And I will probably make this smaller when I finished by using transformation tool. Okay, now in the next video we will continue with this. So I'll see you in the next video. Oh, before I do that, save. Always save your work.